Hello, welcome. Thank, where are you welcoming to my... us to? This looks lovely where you are. It looks lovely and sunny. You framed it so the sun's shining in on you, I think. <laughs> Just coming up over my shoulder, it yeah, how lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, I've seen the view outside our Salford Studios, absolutely stunning. So, tell me, put this into context. Um, I watched the first one and a half episodes last night. Yes, I'm hooked. I'll, 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 I'll <laughs> say, I, I am hooked. I'm loving the relationship you have in this with your partner, on-screen partner. Um, your character is rather, I'd say, rather dry, rather sarcastic, and I'm still not... I do like you, your character, not sure if I'm going to continue to like you, which I quite like. Oh, right. Yeah, no, she is. She's quite straight speaking, Erin. And I think Erin's <clears throat> uh, character and, and uh, Jimmy Nesbitt, who plays Broom, the two of them work together as detectives and they really complement each other because, you know, he's quite maverick and instinctive and she's quite logical and she wants evidence. And yeah, as you say, she's very dry and sarcastic, which, you know, it, it's nice for me. It's not it's not too fluffy. You know, it's, it's good. Yeah, no, fluff's never good. Um, are you surprised by... I, I, on Netflix, which this is on at the moment, um, it's trending, it's one of the most popular this moment in time. This, it can be hit and miss, can't it? Because you kind of... With murder mysteries, you know, we've had Line of Duty, all those kinds of series, you really need to kind of grab people and get them going. But this is really popular at the moment. It's really popular and it's got so many twists and turns and strands that, you know, even filming it and reading it and having the script in my hand, I was constantly being, you know, uh, turned in a different direction. And, and I think that's really what's what's keeping people interested. People are, it really doesn't resolve itself until the end. So you do have to keep watching because, um, because, yeah, it's, it's really... I don't want to give anything away, but, you know, you might think you know what's happening and then you suddenly don't. And uh, I think that's a joy of Harlan Coburn's, you know, writing. Be in terrible trouble if you give anything away. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's also the kind of thing that we need at this time of year. We've had Christmas and New Year. We've got no money left. We're all fed up. It's dark in the evening. It's, it's great sofa stuff. Tell, you mentioned Jimmy Nesbitt. Tell me about the relationship between you two characters, because that is... That, that, that's at the heart of this, and it's fascinating. Yeah, it's really, um, it's really quite modern. Sorry, I keep losing my voice. Um, and uh, Harlan Coben did a tweet just the other day, and he said, you know, we are literally at the forefront of conscious uncoupling, which is exactly right for these two characters. They are divorced, they were married, and they're, um, and they, and they're working together. And because of their yin and yang, I think it's, it's a really lovely look at the fact that you can uh, decide that you're not right for each other, but still that you're brilliant at your job together and that there are qualities that you like about each other and, and you can work alongside each other. It's very modern, really. I know I, I have friends who are kind of separated and they still spend a lot of time with the kids together and they kind of, you know, they can run alongside each other and they respect the fact that they just weren't right for each other. So it's a very, it's a very conscious uncoupling. They're very happy for each other. She's very happy in her new life with her child and, and she's very happy for him when he um, has relationships, which he seems to have a lot of in the past. And sure. in all the cop detective murder mystery type things, I, I don't think I've ever seen that particular kind of relationship before. Exactly, that's what I really loved about this piece. I loved the idea that that really isn't the central focus that they used to be married and that there's no, there's not this kind of constant will they, won't they, or is she jealous or they're just, it's very modern and it's, it's very together for Erin as well. You know, she's quite, she's fine working with him. You know, she knows all his faults to, to the point that, you know, that's probably part of the sarcastic you know, uh, conversation between the two of them. They're good friends and uh, and they really care about each other, but that's OK, that's enough. Um, and it's great. It's, it, there's, a, there's a really lovely feminine quality about this whole thriller piece, actually, about women trying to take charge of their own lives and um, whether they succeed or not is a different question. Jo, mm. can you take a step back for me in time and just tell me, you kind of... The script landed, and I don't know if this was the case already, and you, you were interested, and then you kind of started hearing about who else was starring in this. So you've got Kush Jumbo, James Nesbitt, obviously, Richard Armitage, Sarah Parrish, Eddie Izzard, I could go on. And they yeah. come, they're not minor characters. They're not fleeting, glimpsing moments. These are great actors who yeah, are, are making a big yeah. impact. 
They are. I, I don't think Eddie was on board but, um, by the time I got on board, but certainly for me, you know, massive pull for Richard Armitage. We worked together um, years and years ago now. Uh, we were brother and sister in a period drama called North and South. And uh, so I know I adore him and he, uh, the idea of seeing him again and working with him was, was obviously fabulous. And Sarah Parrish, I'm a massive fan of. So we'd, we'd never really met, but we have a lot of mutual friends. So that was, you know, that was another pull. And obviously Jimmy's, you know, Jimmy's great. And so, yeah, it was all it was all a big pull, and mm. and also Harlan Coben's. You know, I've watched a lot of his other thrillers, and I love his writing. So, um, and you know, it's Netflix. So it was it was kind of an easy choice. Although I was at the same time on the same day, I was offered a different job, which could have run for longer and um, and was possibly a bit safer as a choice. But um, but I decided after deliberating for the afternoon that I thought I'd take the risk. You know, I knew that Erin wasn't going to be in it a huge amount possibly or not. You know, we only had the first three scripts, so it was a bit of a punt. Um, but I, I, yeah, I fell for the cast, the writing, the whole project was just a little bit more exciting for me. So I, I, I went in that direction. Well, you took a risk. It's always worth it. Um, Joe, really good to talk to you. Thank you for the lovely setting with the sunshine. Very well organised there. <laughs> Joe Joyner there. Thanks so much. Um, he's starting the new series of Stay Close, which is on Netflix right now.